CDC just revised its guidelines and said even people who are asymptomatic should not go out unless they're wearing a mask. But we're going to tell you how to make your own mask, temporary mask maybe, uh, out of things around the house. So what I have here are some simple like cloth napkins. I think the size can vary, but these are the ones that I had on hand and they're cute. They have little uh, pugs and French bulldogs on it so you can add a little style to it. And I've got some hair ties. These things hold your hair back. I'm gonna fold it like this, maybe like right there. I feel like that's a good distance between my mouth and nose right here. And then I'm gonna take the hair tie. I'm gonna put it on this side. I'm gonna take another hair tie. I'm gonna put it in on this side. And now I'm gonna like fold these over a little bit like this. And see how like you got these things over here. It's already starting to look like a mask a little bit. And now I'm going to get my sewing bag out and I'm going to stitch it up on the sides. So for any of you first time sewers out there, no judgments. What I would have done in the past is maybe put my mouth on this thread to get it to go through here easier, but I'm going to not try to put anything in my mouth right now that doesn't need to go in there. So I'm going to try to dry string this needle right here, which could be the tough. Oh my God. Good. Got it. So then you like, you get like, you double over your thread like that and then you snip it. And then sometimes you don't have to, but sometimes people tie off the ends just to keep it from coming apart. And so here's my threaded needle. And so with my mask here, I am going to try and just do a simple stitch again we've got this light thing kind of in here and it's sometimes good to go back over it again again make sure when you sew it that this thing is on this side of the sewing needles so now that i've double stitched it all the way through i can kind of pull it all the way through this thing feels a little secure you can do it a couple more times if you feel like it would help now i'm going to see if i can find that thread i started out with over here there it is. There's that little guy. And I'm going to try to tie it off. So there, that's that side. That's, so it's got a little tug on it. Now, if it isn't already immediately obvious, this is a little ear loop for my ear. So I'm gonna take that and put it around. So now I've got this other side. I'm just gonna try to give myself as much room as I can. Spread this out. And again, this isn't gonna solve all your problems. This is gonna do things like remind you to not touch your face. This is gonna do things like just let other people know that you're taking this seriously. And I think we also need to talk about a little bit of removing the social stigma from wearing masks in public. Sometimes I feel like uh, I would not wanna wear one because I would feel that people think I'm already sick or I would just look silly. But I think it's good to remind yourself that this may be where we're all headed and uh, it's okay to wear a mask in public. There you go. This is it. This is a handmade, hand-sewn mask with little French bulldogs on it. Let's try it on. But uh, it's staying on my ears and this is, uh, this is great. If I wear this, I feel like I'm not gonna touch my face as much. I feel like I'm not gonna like accidentally scratch my lip or like mess with my nose. So, uh, Give it a try, you guys. If you're up for some sewing projects and you're uh, hanging out at home, bored as heck, give it a, give it a whirl. I protect you. You protect me.